4 gigs of RAM, 16 megapixel camera, 3000 milliamp hour battery, 5.7 inch, 1440 by 2560. There's a lot of good things I can say about this device. And uh, it would all be true as far as I see it. This device comes in at 7.6 millimeters. Runs the latest Android, uh, true flagship. There's a lot of things I like about it, but some things really stand out. And the first thing I want to talk about that I like the most about this is the camera. So I want to show you, I want to go ahead and take a picture here. It's my nice, beautiful watch here. Got fast shutter time. Just a beautiful, beautiful camera. You look at the detail there. I could go all the way in some more. I could go even farther. The detail is just amazing. It's just amazing. The camera on the Galaxy Note 5 is a 16 megapixel camera capable of shooting at 4K. Uh, it shoots at 60 frames per second at 1080p. It is just a beautiful camera. It has optical image stabilization, HDR, panorama, face detection, dual shot, um, dual video. What more could you want in a rear camera? Besides all that, the front camera is a 5 megapixel camera and it too is beautiful. That's the first thing I, that stood out to me uh, with the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is how beautiful the camera was. Some might say, oh, what about the display? Well, the display is nice. But the camera takes gorgeous photos. So with the camera being one of the things that I like the most first, obviously, yes, it's going to be the display next. The display is a 5.7 inch display, 518 pixels per inch. It is the uh, one of the highest resolutions you can get on a phone right now. That title, I think, stands with the Galaxy S6 at 577, which is just crazy. But how many pixels do you really need to know that you have a great screen? The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 screen is gorgeous. Compact size phone with a beautiful display. Beautiful. I've uh, used this device every day and I am more than pleased with how beautiful the angles are. It is just a gorgeous screen. You can't go wrong for watching movies. Anything you could possibly think of with this device that pertains to the screen is going to be one of the best screens you'll ever see on a mobile device. So what could top that or what could be in line with that? Well, obviously the build quality. Now, right now I have a carbon fiber skin on the back and I put that on there because sometimes I don't like to use a case. Uh, but uh, the carbon fiber skin also makes it look pretty nice looks even more sexy than what it was. But while without the carbon fiber skin, it's just a white glass back along with the glass front. And along here is a metal frame that runs along the entire body. The design and build quality on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is gorgeous, hands down. It is one of the most premium feeling devices I've used in a while. It's very beautiful in, in design, and I think Samsung did a fantastic job with the build quality on this. At first, when I noticed the curved back, I thought this ah, might be just another gimmick. But after using this for a while, the curved back, this phone just falls into your hand. It just flows, it's just beautiful and it feels really good. The compact size with the big screen, that's just another bonus. So what else could be another addition to that? Well, the enhanced S Pen is really nice, and a feature I use a lot is I pull it out and I start writing down something that I need to take care of. That feature, believe it or not, is extremely useful when you don't have pen and paper. There's been plenty of times where I thought, mm, man, I'm so glad I got this. I forgot the grocery list. You know, you got to write, well, younger people might not, but people that are in our age bracket, you know, 45 plus or so, you can't remember everything. Your memory starts to get a little old. Note 5 is there for you. Write down everything I could possibly think of that I think I forgot. Saves the day. So what's another great thing about the Note 5? Well, the 
finger scanner. This finger sensor on here is so fast, as you can see. I've been testing it against my iPhone 6 Plus. It's faster. Initially, when I tested these, it appeared that the iPhone 6 Plus was faster. But in all actuality, no matter which test I ran or how I did it, it's popped open faster. Does that mean that it's better? Works better? It's just a finger sensor. As long as it gets the phone open on one touch, I'm good to go. Sometimes I used to put my finger on the turning screen on and put it back. Well, if you just press it down and leave your finger on there, it'll unlock and you can see as I just demoed, it's really fast. That's a fast sensor. Wow, I don't know what else I could tell you about how great this device is and why you should buy it. Android people um, who are not stuck on the stock Android experience, I think you'll love the Galaxy Note 5. Now, I haven't picked up the S6 Edge Plus yet, but I considered it. But when it comes down to just sheer functionality, I don't know that you'd get a better experience uh, from any other phone than the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. No sales pitch, nothing. So guys, I think you should buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 over plenty of other devices um, because of that. Those reasons that I pointed out, I think are really, really solid reasons to pick up the Galaxy Note 5 if you're looking for a great device with killer specs. Some people might say the price range is a little much, and I would agree. I'm not gonna say that it's not an expensive device, but sometimes you have to pay for quality. And I think that's why Samsung is winning. I think that's why Apple is winning. Uh, it's just one of those things. LG winning, you know, the pricing on the LGs are a little bit lower, but they're still winning, they're doing great. Uh, but Samsung and Apple are clearly running the show here. So should you pick up a Galaxy Note 5 based on the reasons that I've named? Nah, you should pick up a Galaxy Note 5 if you have some needs that need to be met and uh, you need a real powerhouse of device that can do it. Functionality, and you know, I didn't even really go into the S Pen, but without going into the S Pen, let me just open that folder right there. Functionality. Note 5 is a killer boss device. Screen, cameras, S Pen, amazing. Four gigs of RAM, this is my first phone with four gigs of RAM and it is truly fast. I haven't had a crash or a sluggish moment yet. And I don't think you will either. The Quad HD display, that kind of helps too. So, should you buy the Galaxy Note 5? Oh yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.